Ficciones is a collection of short stories by Jorge Luis Borges. Let's summarize them now. In the prologue to part one of Ficciones, Borges introduces the first eight stories of Ficciones, previously published in 1941 as the collection The Garden of Forking Paths, and gives hints on how to read some of them. In Talon, Ukbar, Orbis Tertius, the narrator and his friend discover a fake planet's history invented by a secret society, which has far-reaching consequences for the planet Earth. In the approach to Al-Mutasim, the narrator comments on commentary about a novel in which a man searches for another man by looking for traces of him in other people. In Pierre Menard, author of Don Quixote, a 20th century Frenchman attempts to write Don Quixote as the exact text Cervantes wrote without copying it. In The Circular Ruins, a man creates another man by dreaming him, realizing he too is someone else's dream. In The Babylon Lottery, the narrator explains the evolution of the lottery, which soon subjects all of Babylonian life to chance. An examination of the work of Herbert Quayne is about the works of a fictitious deceased Irish writer named Herbert Quayne, who wrote strange and inventive works. In The Library of Babel, the first-person narrator describes an immense, perhaps infinite, library of unreadable books. In The Garden of Forking Paths, German spy Dr. Yu Soon meets the man who has solved the puzzle of his grandfather's labyrinth. In the prologue of part two, Artifices, Borges comments on a couple of stories, and he says he added three additional stories after the original publication of Ficciones. In Funes the Memorius, the narrator recalls a childhood friend, Ariano Funes, who had a remarkable mind and memory. In The Form of the Sword, the narrator recounts a meeting with an Irishman, when he asks the man how he got the scar on his face, the man tells the story of his betrayal by a cowardly man named John Vincent Moon himself. In Theme of the Traitor and the Hero, the narrator proposes a basic future story in which a descendant, Ryan, discovers Fergus Kilpatrick was a traitor who arranged to have himself assassinated in a dramatic way that would inspire future generations. In Death and the Compass, Detective Eric Lonroot chases an infamous criminal, Red Sherlock, who sets a psychological trap. In The Secret Miracle, writer Yaromir Hladik is arrested by the Nazis and sentenced to death, and he prays to God for one year of life so he can finish writing his tragedy, The Enemies. Time stops, and he completes the work in his mind. In Three Versions of Judas, a Swedish theologian proposes Judas was the true incarnation of God. In the end, a paralyzed barman witnesses a fight between characters from the 19th century Argentinian epic poem, The Gaucho Martin Fierro. In The Sect of the Phoenix, an underground society thrives for centuries, united by its practice of the secret, which the narrator never explains. In The South, an Argentinian receives a copy of The Thousand and One Nights, hits his head reading it, and is hospitalized. He's later challenged to a knife fight in which he thinks he will surely die.